Now, how about the velocity versus time? Well, of course I can do velocity versus time because all I need is velocity and time. And that I have. I have initial velocity for the first bounds. Let's write the time on here. It will make it easier to, to draw. So the first time we saw was 2.2 seconds. So this is 2,2 seconds. The second one was 1.3 sec yeah, seconds. This is 1,3 seconds. And the last one was for 0, 0,8 seconds. So this is 0, 0,8 seconds. So to draw the first one, for 2.2 seconds, I must go from 11 meters per second to negative 11. So there's 11. There's 11. Until I get to negative 11, there's negative 11. And it must take me 2.2 seconds. There's 1.2. There's 2. There's 2.2 seconds. And there I go. Now the next one starts at 2.2 seconds and goes on for 1.3. So the next one will start at 2.2 and then go on for another 1.3 seconds, which means it will end at 3,5 seconds. So I must start at 6.6 .6 meters per second. Okay, 6.6 .6 meters per second is positive because it's now bouncing upwards. Okay, and 6.6 .6 is, that would be 7, so 6.6 .6 is more or less than the half. Okay, so from 2.2 seconds, I'm at 6.6, .6, just over half, that's good. Okay, until I get to negative 6.6, .6, which would be about here, and that must be at 3.5 seconds. There we go, that's 3.5, because that's... 3.2, 3.4, 3.5. That would be there. Okay, now I must go from 3.5 seconds, another 0.8 seconds. Now we know the total journey was 4,3 seconds. And that's because this last journey was 0, 0,8 seconds long. So from 3.5 seconds to 4.3 seconds, I must go from 4 meters per second to negative 4 meters per second. So I'm at 3.5 and, and 4. And then I go from uh, three and a half seconds to 4.3 seconds, which is there, but also to negative four meters per second. There we go. What you'll always notice is that these lines are parallel to one another. They lie parallel because they have the same gradient. The gradient is negative 10, negative 10, negative 10. That is the uh, acceleration.